This is Anna with Anna D's Scratch and Crafts. Today I'm going to be doing sun catchers with diamond art. Gorgeous. There's four of them. And this is what hopefully they'll look just as gorgeous as these once I'm through. Now in the package, if I can get it dumped out, is everything you need in order to do this. We have let me back out again. The forms, all the little gems we need. Here are the crystals that will hang off of them. And of course, we have the drill, the little tray to put things in, and the little glue we're going to need. So give me a moment to set things up and we'll get started. Have items out. I'm going to start with the simplest one. Now these actually will be done on both sides. So it's not just one sided. I will be putting gems on both. On this particular one, there isn't a grid like it is on the paintings, but it is marked. So for this particular one, I will need what the P, A's, eyes and it looks like an L. So in the package they sent us, they're I guess I put them so you can see them. They're labeled. There's A B C D E F G H the I the J and K but the bigger gems which are like the P's here and whatever they an N, L, M, O, and I would take this to be the P's. So, for those of you who have not seen this before, and the one item you will need, oops, wrong side again, is a scissor that's not in the kit. The A's. Put everything else away, or not away, but off to the side. <laughs> I'm going to cut just a little bit of the corner here because I'm not going to pour all of the gems into the tray, just enough to get started. And carefully set this to the side so it don't spill. Now to get the gems to lay the way you need them, give the tray a shake. And as you see, the majority of them are now laying. So it's easy for you to get at them. Set that to the side. <clears throat> to prepare the drill, the pin, whatever you wish to call it, take the little sticky Open up just a corner. And apply it. So all you have to do is gently touch one of the gems. I got two. That's all right. And this is the A, so, oh, <laughs> I forgot. There is a protective coating. And I'm going to peel it back. And I'm only going to peel back what I'm working on. That way I kind of protect the others and I'm not sticky. Because right now, this is sticky. Okay, I only have one now. So place the A on the A and it sticks. Grab another one and it sticks. Oops. If you misplace, you can move them.
that's the A's on this particular one. I'm going to go ahead and get the P. That one I don't need to put in the tray. They're huge. So in this case, I can just kind of pull them out. Set it on. Make sure it's in place. I could move it over just a little bit more. There we go. Now normally I would do all the A's all the way around, but I'm going to go ahead and I have extra trays from my other projects, which is why I tell you to keep the trays, because believe me, once you get started on diamond art, you'll find it so fun, you will do more than one kit. So now I'm gonna go looking for the eye. <clears throat> if you don't have an extra tray, tray like I do, they will come with little packets. I had previously opened this before, but yes, they did come with little packets. So, sometimes not enough, so I have bought myself, since I do a lot of this, extra little baggies. You can take, once you're finished, into the little baggie, and you have the tray available for your next color. And this is the eye. Again, just a corner off. Just a little bit in the tray. <clears throat> Give it a shake. Now we can put the eyes in place. Now you've seen me do one section, and I did speed it up a little bit so it wasn't real time, but fairly simple on this one. So I need the L for the center. So give me a moment. I will do off camera the rest of these just like I did this one and we'll come back, flip it over, start the other side. We have finished the one side. Now a couple little tips. I do have the two trays going at once. If you do this, you might do what I do. I put an identifier in it because if you look, they're really, really close together in their shading. This one's definitely white clear. This has got a purple tinge, but you could get a little confused. So this way, keeping the letters in there, let me know. That also is what I do when I do the bags. I also mark all the bags so I know which is which. And they're stackable. Just remember when you kind of pick up because of static electricity, check the bottom. Now that we're finished, I want to set the beads. So I still have the little plastic. I'm going to put it on just to give them. There are several ways I can do it. I can set it with my fingers. 
I can take a book, preferably hardcover, but soft will work, put the book down and press, and that pushes the beads down on the glue, sets them up. Or there is the third way that I do it, especially when I'm doing the canvases. Make sure this is on again. I've got a little rolling pin, or you could use a large one. Almost every kitchen's got a rolling pin. And then gently, you don't push a whole lot, just gently roll. Of course, with the bigger gems, you may want to use your finger just on the smaller ones and give it a nice set. Now it's time to do the other side, but I don't want to set it down and maybe scratch the gems up a little bit. So I have a little cloth, dish towel, hand towel, washcloth, anything will work. This just happens to be about the right size that I need here. It'll protect it so I can lay it down and it'll kind of keep it from moving around too much too. So we're going to do the same thing on this side as we did on the other. Now, every now and then, when you go to use your little drill, pick, whatever, it's going to stop sticking. So just simply go back to your little sticky, get some more on it, and start again. So this is the eye. And again, I'm going to start on one section. Start putting the eyes in. Found out that by putting the eyes around that big P, it made it easier to set the P in correctly. So I'm doing, got too many on there. Like it says, you can move. Now at some point, everybody, and I do mean everybody, is going to hit this and tip. And especially if you're working on a canvas, you're going to get a whole lot of gems <laughs> spread all over your canvas. Some kits come with a tweezer, otherwise you may have a tweezer. You can just use the tweezer to move the gems off of where they hit that they weren't supposed to. And either get them off or just move them to the correct spot. Normally it's move them off because you've dumped half a tray onto your canvas. Like I said, it happens to everybody. These are easy to put your hand on and flip. Just don't get upset. They will come off. If you've got nice long fingernails like I do, you can use the fingernails too. Now, one of the reasons I'm picking up more than one gem at a time, I don't know if you can see it, a little bit of the sticky stuff has moved down. So just move, clean it off on the outside and into the trash it goes. So you watch me put two of them together. You saw me kind of set them in with my fingers. You can do that as you go along. So as before, I'll finish the rest of this off camera and we'll be back to show you how to finish up attaching the jewels in the hanger. Back soon. It's finished, both sides. 
Now for kind of cleanup, take everything that's left in the bag, go ahead, throw it in the tray. And into the little baggie. This is the baggie that came with the kit. They never do give you enough for all of the gems, which is why Oops, let one fall out. Any others? I bought myself a supply. Same size. They're little kits that you can use, little jars. However you want to save them. And do save them. Uh, you can use them if there's gems missing in a, another project you do. Uh, I've started using some of these in my resin. Adding gems into the items I'm making. Uh, certain colors. They make great eyeballs on certain things. Now, I probably will need the A or I. You know, that I also looks like an H. to have to tweezers put a little eyeball sign on there that way I know this is supposed to be an I. Yay! There is an H. That's why I'm doing that. Or I could have just simply written on the bag. Now what I have done on other ones is they give them the color number. And I put that on the bag because that same color ID number goes from kit to kit to kit. He already has it, so we're set and ready. Now it's time to add the jewels. All right, take some forever to get the bag open. Kind of check out the box. Here's the one we want. So it's got two on the bottom, one on the top. That's one and one. That would be the hummingbird. Oh, it's got the stars. That's a way to check. Here we go. There we go, the stars. So now I know I've got the right set. Put the others back. Give up another bag. And I am going to need pliers. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Needed pliers. This is the chain for the top. And these are the ones that hang. What I need to do is attach this to those. little mirror in place. Now most of you should know how this works if you've done any, but for those of you who have never done any jewelry, just simply with two pair of pliers, gently open up The connecting link wide enough so it will go through the hole. Once you get it through, just 
gently reclose it again. And it's on. Same thing with the second one. Find where the link opens. Open the link. Okay, don't go losing it. That's what I get for not using my magnifier. This one wants to be difficult for me. Just need to squeeze it close just a teeny bit. There we go. And we've got the bottom on. Same thing with the chain on top. Your options then are just simply to use a nail and hook this on. Attach a hook to it so you can hang it from something else or even a this is fairly light a tack or a push pin should hold it up however you want to hang it from your windows or wherever you'll hang it where will it get that beautiful sun Come on. Okay, again, my problem is I'm not using my magnifying glass. There we go. In. Close up. Perfect. Berkeley. My hands are long enough to get it all in. Well, there has been no sun. In fact, we had a snowstorm move through. I haven't seen the sun for two days now. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this video, put it up for you to see. There will be a part two that'll sh give you a few more hints and tricks on how to do this diamond art. So look for the next video. Thank you for joining me on this trip. And if you like it, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe and notifications so you'll see the next video as it comes up. Thank you. And if you enjoyed my video, please press the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and the notification bell so you know when my next video is out. Thank you.